After a consistent first year with her new team FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine Futuroscope, which included over 20 top tens but no individual race wins, Marta Cavalli set the bar high ahead of the 2022 season. I feel good. Our goalie starts uh, strong in the beginning of the season to, to achieve uh, as best as I can uh, in the first uh, in the first races that uh, in the end uh, are also the most important. Her early season form was similarly strong, but this month has seen her hit new heights. And Cavalli now makes a move. So the Italian, the former Italian champion, phenomenal climber is uh, Marta Cavalli. My motivation is really high for these races and I work uh, all the winter with this uh, focus in my mind. The sprint starts behind Nubia Dima Van Vloon, but it is going to be the Amstel Gold Race for the Italian. Marta Cavalli comes of age, takes the biggest victory of her career. I did more quality training, less uh, endurance. Uh, and more focus uh, on efforts, on specific efforts. Uh, to be able to react, for example, um, in the big attacks uh, like Anemic or Longo Borghini and, uh, and be ready to, to maybe attack these riders. They would prove to be prophetic words as Cavalli ended up going head to head with Anemic van Flirten on the Mur de Wii. Cavalli is still there. It's going to be a drag race to the line between these two riders. The second classic win of the season, Marta Cavalli takes it. So the winter's hard work is already paying off with two of the biggest wins of her career. As big as they are, though, riding for a French team means that in this of all years, they're merely a step towards the biggest objective of the season. For our team is a big uh, goal, maybe the main league goal, because um, like I learned uh, last year, they are really motivated to be good in uh, each French race. We want to show how beautiful is the cycling and uh, we want also to uh, fight for the yellow jersey. It will be uh, a nice experience uh, because, uh, for example, a lot of um, climbers uh, are not so used to ride in gravel or cable sector. And I think um, in Tour de France uh, will be the key of that stage and also for the general classification. Avoid uh, every risk in, in this kind of stage uh, because uh, uh, nervosism and also strategy make uh, the big uh, uh, work and uh, I can ride in front, uh, I can guide uh, my captain and uh, the goal is to arrive safe after the finish line in this stage uh, and uh, maybe save the energy also not, not just uh, physically but also mentally energy for the next stages. I think it's a loop. Uh, if more people uh, uh, fall um, in love with women's cycling, uh, more people will see us, uh, more uh, TV and media uh, can be interested, more sponsors, more money, more teams, uh, and if a lot of people support us, uh, uh, like a photographer, video maker, you, for example, this show, this is a good thing for us because uh, more people can uh, learn and understand how is a woman cycling because it's not the same of men, uh, it's the um, same sport but different feelings.